Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. In recent weeks, the focus turned to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as questions arise concerning financial irregularities at their charity Archer Well. An investigation by the financial analysts has thrown the spotlight firmly back on this A-list couple and exactly how they spend, or don't spend, their money. Under fire over the lack of transparency about their financial allocations, allegations that Archer Well was not practicing what it preached started surfacing in media and blogs. Others have noted that the pair have not been very clear on where exactly those millions are being spent. The opaqueness raises serious doubts about their honesty, sincerity and dedication towards the charitable purposes that they publicly preach. Of course, if the money has not been spent in accordance with their mission, it raises another question, what are Meghan and Harry really doing with the funds? It is the charity fake beardless face just to make wallet thin and not helping to the said causes as they proclaimed? But ironic, considering how the couple have presented themselves in public as champions of social justice and openness, and now they may not be practicing what they preach. Megan, who had worked very hard to build a reputation of caring nature and advocacy, was now having this reputation severely damaged. The idea of money in the wrong place coming from someone so forthright about her charitable ambitions is a bitter pill to swallow. Suppose the IRS investigation exposes discrepancies that would ruin her rep, but it could also begin to build a case against their public images as, well, flimsy. On the other hand, it is ludicrous of them to offer charity that should have helped many others in need whilst they lavish themselves with their luxurious lifestyle. Indeed Meghan and Harry have spent plenty of time flaunting their luxurious vacations, lavish events and royal opulence in the face of the very people they purport to represent. This stark contrast only fuels the perception that they are out of touch, elitist, and in their own bubble. Now if Archwell isn't living up to that our picture of Meghan and Harry changes to see them as more interested in getting their name out than actually doing good for the collective. This has broken the internet and can be heard echoing on every social media platform with many dragging Megan for her caring about any type of cause. Some responses suggest incredulity that she would gamble all of her hard work comments like look at the future this runs refer to audiences expected to lose trust globally, as well as a risk of possible jail time. The treachery murmurs have forward, these are not any more exclusively on a personal level, yet number now throughout the quite basic conceiving a public enterprise they designed, delivering typically the story of any small number this could take possess getting to be bigger fish and recreation while in their beginnings. All of the focus on Archwell's cash flow has served as an essential reminder that we need more accountability within the philanthropy world. Moreover, the entire brand, but also the public credibility would take a massive blow if someone like Meghan or Harry was perceived as financially careless. Accountability and transparency form the core of trust in a charitable organization. No, what the public wants it, the mostly fat and out-of-shape bottom-feeding, scummy little cubs that go to sports events past 8 p.m. L.A. County time or watch a concert on YouTube after the kids go napping. That public does just want their celebrities to lead by example in all things and self-serving charity as a chariot is not going to cut it. If this investigation has consequences, it could reach far past Meghan and Harry, to undermine public confidence in the other organizations like it and discourage future donations. The spotlight on Archwell is a cautionary tale of celebrity philanthropy. This shows the thin line between actual charity work and merely opportunism, especially where celebrities are concerned. It asks not only what this couple did and why, but more significantly, about the ethics of having an audience, at best, or wealth, at worst. Critics have long accused Harry and Meghan of not being transparent or accountable, especially with their charitable foundation Archwell. Their credibility as supporters of social justice would be shot if the IRS audit on their financial papers turned up any irregularities. Not only would that look bad for them, it could also do little to dissuade those who already say that they care more about being in the philanthropy game than actually directing their own capital. The irony is hard to ignore. 
They present themselves as a social justice warriors, Harry and Meghan are here to make a difference. But what this investigation holds up to the light is that their words might not be even close to how they behave, which is something no one is keen on admitting. If Archwell got caught in an unethical or illegal wrongdoing, their reputation will take a hit and their defenders will rush to make excuses for what they did. In today's digital landscape, this could build up tremendous blowback in virtually no time. Failure to comply could be costly if the IRS finds any wrongdoing. The fallout could be fines running into thousands of pounds, or worse Archwell may lose its charitable tax status rendering the foundation ineffectual. It also reflects poorly about how they manage their finances and the nature of what drives their charitable aims. Even if they do have humanitarian undertones, the mismanagement of funds or the non-compliance with legal requirements could prove just how hollow those promises to help others truly are. Is there ever use of them to popularize self, or are they donating themselves fully to the societal causes credited by Archwell whatnot? But the attention on Archwell also underscores the larger pitfalls of star philanthropy. While Harry and Meghan may be products of PR, their high profile means that they need to take more responsibility for their actions than most, this is more about thought leadership and public representation than just personal brand. That clearly does not bode well with donors, particularly the public figures who are leading a social justice movement. Failure to deliver on these, what it implies and what it really matters for real might be bad on the scores of trustworthiness that the public may hold their organization and could derail broader celebrity charity activities. This could dissuade potential donors from backing worthy causes, leaving the communities they profess to champion worse off. The couple's response to the further investigation will be something for which to look out. The question is whether they will use the opportunity to show accountability and transparency, or if they shield themselves using their celebrity status. It has been demonstrated through history that many public figures go with the latter option, dismissing allegations rather than tackling them outright. Going down this route would only serve to make Harry and Meghan come across as prompters, to a population that is probably already getting sick of what can only look feckless activism. What it tells us is the fact that philanthropy isn't merely about benevolent intents, but also heavy-duty checks and balances, a touch of ethics and precise administration. To restore their reputations and save the good they are trying to do in the world, Harry and Meghan need to put honesty first. How they weather the storm over the coming months is going to be crucial, and it will make or break whether Archwell is operating with anything like the integrity they claim to stand for. Harry and Meghan have been criticized for a lack of transparency by many, especially when it comes to Archwell. The continuing review calls into question their validity, especially as both are outspoken social justice activists. If the IRS conducts a review of their financial records, the chances that inconsistencies will be discovered is high. If any mishandling would have been detected, it would tarnish their reputation and strengthen the image of men who care more about their own promotion than real charity. Their situation is ironic one. Prince Harry and Meghan have sought to position themselves as campaigners for a range of social issues, regularly talking about their work on making the world a fairer place. But this investigation channels them to reckon with an inconvenient reality, their actions might not be in lockstep with their words at all. If Archwell were found to be operating outside the law, which is arguably what has happened, this would cause widespread damage to their image and make their supporters desperate to excuse them. Suddenly, in the frenetic world of social media with shifting sands of opinion, such action could be swift and devastating. Worse yet, if the IRS discovers abuse of these rules, the consequences could be dire. They risk heavy fines, or even worse, making Archwell lose its tax-exempt standing and thus putting the couple out of operation. It also calls into question issues such as the handling of their financials and of course, quite bluntly, whether they have a heart. Harry and Meghan have repeatedly stressed that they want to give something back, but any suggestion of them being lax with their finances or not meeting the required standards will raise serious questions. It is an opinion of mine that whether Archwell is truly about advocating for social change, or if it is little more than vehicle of self-promotion. 
The questions over arch will further highlight wider debates around celebrity philanthropy. AFP Harry and Meghan walk in the corridors of power as high-profile figures with far greater responsibilities than merely minding their own business. Celebrities and public figures who take to Twitter or Instagram to ask people to support a cause should not be surprised that those donors expect transparency in return. The last thing anyone wants is to become skeptical about their organization itself and that line must not be crossed, it carries the real risk of destroying public faith in celebrities pontificating on behalf of charity. Rather than protecting the communities of people that Prince Harry and Meghan wish to champion, this would drive prospective charitable contributors away from causes in dire need of funding. The focus will now shift to the couple as the investigation unfolds. Is this an opportunity for them to prove accountability and transparency, or will they shift blame back and hide behind their pedestal? Nowadays, the traditional route is more or less to ignore it and hope it goes away, and countless public figures over the years have opted for that second option. Should Harry and Meghan choose to go down this route, it could push them further apart from an increasingly unimpressed public who might view their brand of activism as no more than virtue signaling. The story of their situation merely emphasizes the fact that philanthropy is more than good intentions, it also must be characterized by accountability and ethical practice. If Harry and Meghan hope to save face and keep doing their good works, they need to emphasize honesty above all else. In the next few months, their moves will be crucial in weathering this storm and it hinges on how they act to uphold Archwell's credibility. Um, Umsignly legal practice the investigation into Archwell, the charitable organization of Harry and Meghan, raises major questions regarding their truthfulness. Now that they are being accused of these actions, the cornerstone of their charitable campaign is in danger. The hypocrisy is glaring. How can they talk of transparency and accountability when they may themselves be underlining thick roofs of possible financial illegality? Not only does this implied conduct fly in the face of everything they claim to represent, but also there is nothing more that potentially blows the lid off who and what they are. The Sussexes are facing renewed criticism about the financing and running of their Archwell Foundation, leaving them in a very awkward spot. The old victim card has definitely been overplayed to the point of raising an awful lot of eyebrows about just what this law really was designed to achieve. Rather than helping others for real, they are more worried about the public image and earning money. This scandal is a time bomb and we all know you try to hide from your responsibility, but this is over, stop fooling us. However, if they are ultimately proven to be responsible for anything illegal, it would surely stick a red-hot poker in whatever's left of their wobbly name. Throughout their marriage the pair has positioned themselves as mental health and social advocates, however with IRS reportedly soon launching an investigation that could all change. They will no longer be these people who are out there trying to make the world a better place but being seen as opportunists trading off their royals' positions for cash. Elon Musk and his cult have been planting the lamp post of the moon for years, but if every such entrepreneur is asked today, what exactly are you trying to do with this elusive wealth, their carefully curated public image will be shattered. Instead they will appear to be opportunistic weasels who seek to serve only themselves behind a facade as philanthropists. The American sister is very busy right now, puffing ourselves up in public about how moral we are, but we have shown an uncanny ability to fail to live out our noble principles when the price of them requires something more than virtue signaling. How will Meghan take it when the moment comes for her to realize that she needs a new mirror? Meanwhile, their charity work is also coming under increasing scrutiny, with critics of the couple questioning the sincerity in which they give back Harry and Meghan. It is rather ironic, though the couple has always been proud of their charity work, now they are accused of misusing people's money. If they are so passionate about the causes that they fight for, then they should lay bare more of them financial dealings. This lack of transparency is alarming and doesn't lend much credibility to whatever they have been advocating for. This choice seems to be an indication of where their priorities really are, more interested in pumping themselves than actually doing good. This comes as the investigation continues to unroll and one can only wonder how the Sussexes will spin this tale to try and reinstate their good image.
or will they keep playing the victim card blaming the media for their lies and saying the royal family are at fault for all their woes, or fess up to being disappointed influencers? Their track record of dodging responsibility is not very reassuring. The public is running out of patience, and if these young royals cannot justify how they handle their money, loathsome, not only from the royal family, but also minimizing the causes advocating that they have. But as the scrutiny of Harry and Meghan ramps up, so too does their commitment to marketing themselves as saviors or social reformers. And the doubting world is left to wonder how these supposed guardians of the common will could rationalize their behavior when substantial accusations of money abuse are around. Harry and Meghan appear more interested in maintaining their public persona and monetizing their royal roots than actually showing any genuine commitment to the causes they claim to care about. Thinking face their credibility is growing more tenuous by the day, revealing cracks behind their empty promises of a transparent facade in an effort to insulate themselves from mounting scrutiny. Cynics note how the pair's selfless humanitarian pledges jar with their flashy Instagram snaps, documenting lives bankrolled by dubious sources of income. These days it seems that fewer people are buying the story of Harry and Meghan as self-sacrificing advocates for social justice. They are seen as nothing of the sort and more like opportunistic royals promising to exploit their royal title for all it was worth. It would be a rude awakening of sorts, letting them know that their supposed charity organization Archwell is more about the PR than actually changing the world for better. In truth, these funds they say are being used for good works may well be going for their own personal expenses and as such raise serious questions of ethics about why they are doing what they do. With the IRS probing Archwell for alleged financial malpractice, public resentment toward the Sussex pair is spiraling out of control. Meghan and Harry may have thought their combined star power and dream couple philanthropic branding would save them, but alas they are now about to enter the real world. It has been living in the lap of luxury and swinging our purse around with wild abandon for far too long, and we now can no longer ignore it. The question on everyone's mind, what the hell do you think you're doing? That they can keep on preaching to the world about social justice while involved in a mother-of-pearl scandal? All of it was a sham, however, as when placed under the glare of scrutiny, their high-sounding abstraction began to totter, tearing apart in spirit before our eyes. The more we learn about the investigation, the less sympathy we have for them and fewer of us care anymore to hear them whine or overact their own remorse. But now the public wants answers, and Harry and Meghan's refusal to be more forthcoming just invites closer observation. Are they prepared to sack themselves if the nails are hit on the head? Their hypocrisy is threatened by the shadow of losing Archwell's tax-exempt status. Every step Bunchen and Brady take is now under a microscope, labeling as time for give and take regarding their financial business estate. This kind of investigation is a big deal, especially for Meghan who has cultivated an image of being powerful and supporting the causes that she claims to be so passionate about. The backlash that she would face if it was revealed she has used her platform as a means of promotion and not, honestly, charity would be huge. The foundation of helping others will crumble from underneath her if she just comes off another celebrity mischievous in fame and wealth. Here is his take on the whole issue if you're watching to see if the letter he has written a bunch of crap and if it affects in any way been the public patience with the Sussexes then you wouldn't be disappointed, they are fast running out of grace refusals. So the question that lingers, what happened to the $4 million? The new skepticism underscores the gap between the way they position themselves in public and their behavior in private. They claim to be champions of equality and social justice but clearly, their actions tell a different story. They cannot be considered as serious advocates, if caught in scandal that run contrary to their principles. The time for evasion is over. It is time for them to walk the talk, that is what they have spoken of transparency all these while. The investigation will decide whether Harry and Meghan can retain sway. Should those allegations prove to be founded in fact, their reputations will not only suffer but it ought to also serve as a stark warning for the rest of us who get carried away when worshipping at the Church of Celebrity. The fairy tale they have constructed is crumbling and the whole world can now see. Whether they can still earn at least one if not both remains to be seen, 
but the time is certainly ticking. So as we reach the end of this conversation, what is clearer than ever is that whatever Harry and Meghan have tried to stand for where social justice is concerned has been undermined. One thousandfold by the financial scrutiny they seem intent on inviting into their lives. And instead of the transparency for which they profess a desire, they are being confronted with exposures to financial impropriety. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.